So the Enhancing the Mosaic of Women Entrepreneurs was a four-year project that WBC out of British Columbia um, had. It was funded by the Canadian government under the Women's Entrepreneurship Strategy. And it was to improve access um, to underrepresented groups of women um, to our programs through advisory, through mentorship. Uh, and so to be able to serve more rural women uh, within British Columbia, as well as Indigenous and newcomers as well. The targets completely exceeded all expectations. You know, we had a goal of serving 20, almost 2,700 women, and it ended up being over 16,000 women. Uh, and so it, the project started before COVID, the pandemic, but really kind of delivered it right through the pandemic years. And so it really was where women needed the most support. Uh, and really the legacy of the project was our regional ambassadors that now post um, this project. We have regional ambassadors that are on the ground with strong connections to our partners and our clients throughout the region. And it really also speaks volumes because it was about serving underrepresented groups in rural communities. When we say 16,000 women were served, it was in communities that some of these communities aren't even 16,000 people. So it meant that the reach, you know, WBC is in 193 communities throughout British Columbia. And although the urban centers are obviously key and where much of the population is housed, reaching rural communities with the services to enable women to start and grow businesses, to make sure they get the support. Um, and especially in demographics, um, intersectional demographics, um, in BIPOC communities, in indigenous communities, newcomer communities, these were all areas that um, those targets being um, exceeding our expectations uh, really made us realize that there was a lot of work to be done throughout our province. There's still more work to be done, I think, is, is the message really that we got. Continued collaboration with our partners that we started the relationships with throughout the province. Um, recognizing also that intersectionality and the different barriers um, women face, um, especially within our diverse business owners, um, that's something that we want to make sure that we continue to bring forward in how we design programs, in the partners that we connect with, to make sure that we're serving the different demographics, not just generally women entrepreneurs, but within those intersections. And then making sure that we're fostering the growth potential in women entrepreneurs and women-owned businesses throughout, um, throughout BC. So. It's such an honor, you know, thank you to the Canadian Chamber for recognizing really the hard work of our team. You know, we're very, very proud of this project, um, especially through some of the hardest years that most people faced in, through the pandemic. And it also to us symbolizes that we only really, you know, grow if we grow together. And so we be it became actually for us uh, a you know, one of our mantras for the year is we grow together. And it was through this project that we realized that we are so much stronger together, um, that in order for us to grow as both a province, but as a nation, we need to make sure we're supporting everyone. And that includes all the intersectional demographics, the rural communities, um, because all of us grow stronger as a nation and stronger um, uh, e economically when we grow together. Mm -hmm.